hollow. I gotta get to them. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia.
The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the pen are not clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Hikaru saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... arrived. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other hollow.
Let me take a look at you, stranger. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh... You're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music! Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Talks a lot. You would too, if you knew everything there is to know about everything. She can also crank out a whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind once she's fixed. Well, I guess I just better stay on her good side then. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia. That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, 
It took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond... ...and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself... ...I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Alright, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in the... briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. 
Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. to know. I'll check it out when I can. <sighs> Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. There she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh?
that takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Oh, taste of metal in my mouth. Blood. Ah! Ah, the weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. She who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing you said could be here? The Luthia? 
I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. We might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zeniths still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Actogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in there. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um... How is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well... Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus. It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. The control console. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Get this 
for my stash when I need it. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty-six? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Verbena, what do you have for me? I checked everywhere, still no sign of the asset. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? We need to get her back to- Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. 
I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Here it comes! Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. See what I can do. At the second you need me, I'm there. That's a quick way to take it down. Ah, uh, let's get into this. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all.
I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the cash? Errand? Huh? Oh, I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but, yeah. What you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Yeah, it reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in storm burn plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark, and a boom. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed, I promise. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just, uh... You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. So... How does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. 
The Utaru promise to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. Couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. 
I could either sing at people's graves, or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. You've spoken with Katala? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this... Hephaestus, and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... Humbling, to say the least, and heartbreaking, that such life should be bent on destroying ours. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. Gaia, what's this room? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed, I was able to repurpose... Is your focus acting up again? That's nah, fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. if I just blink it a few times. Welcome back. 
Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better check on the clone before I head back out there. Yes. She retreated to the maintenance corridor directly below us. Varl is with her. Right. Thanks, Guy. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Aloy. Glad you made it back. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that... You're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? 
What did the Zenus want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zenus want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zenus have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. How did you escape the Zenith? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the Rebels killed, outside the facility. But Venus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end they always do what he says. Eric. He's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony.
You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but... The only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. We're going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get.
taste of blood. That's not good. Check it out. Thanks. Follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. girl was wound up tighter than a twisted spring. She didn't have to hit me. Well, she didn't like you going through her parcels. She warned you. Twice. I was just curious, is all. I must be closing in on the signal. Here.
Thanks to you, she bolted like a hair on fire. That tonic looks damaged. <laughs> Ghost room gear. These legs look too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way. Stay here. Dead Osram. Killed my machines from the look of it. Or use some kind of harpoon to take this machine down. I must have attacked the camp. Maybe my focus can help me figure out why. trying to take down that tall neck. So the Osram wanted to weigh down that tall neck and strip it for parts. The machines must have caught them in the act. I wish there was a way to climb up and inspect the damage. Unless... I take down the tall neck myself. And try to repair it on the ground. It wouldn't be pretty, but... At least it'll get fixed. Anchor to the tall next week spots. Oh, well, that sounds like trouble. And I need more anchors. I know the Osram set up other ballistas in the area. I just gotta use them. I've already used that ballista. I should look for others in the air. There's probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. Use them to take down the tunnel. I'll have to hook an anchor to... I bet a ballista can help me fight these machines. Another ballista. It's got one more. One more should weigh it down enough. Machines. I need to hurry. Here. 
out here. Not today. I've already used that ballista. I should look for others in the area. That weapon still has an anchor. Let's use it. Sorry about this, big guy.
This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. said this is not quite deciding, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Check it out. Someone's been through here. Camping here. Looks like there's. So close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life, or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly a no- Yeah, well, what's- I, the Mark II- You- Yeah, man. Is that oddly dry? It'd have to be- Well, you'd need- so, Without- Compare- What is this? She's a str- You got- Hey, moral- Not a str- Damn. Oh, fair enough. Part? Don't mind him. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. About the Delph. <sighs> Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Whatever you find below is yours. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. I thought... We were finally going to get away from this place. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's mood became. I need to dress my wounds. Be ready for the next fight. We'll find a way to get the embers. I know we will. Optimism! It's great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. It may save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war of words. I'll stuff a cog in it, Stemmer.
parched desert air made the old wordsmith long for a draft of mainspring ale. For once, I agree with you. I wonder what it's like down there, huh? A city encased in water. Wow. Encased. <laughs> More like entombed. Every once in a great while, the shard counter stumbled on to a genuinely poetic expression. What could have caused a flood like that? It was as if the buried ruins had a spirit of their own. One that would brook no trespassers. over there. 13. Expenses. I thought it was the number of years since anyone smiled at you. It may seem like we've had a rough run, but someday, we'll put on a show about it. Yeah, a tragedy. We're only in the second act, Abaddon. Well, let's hope there's a third. hasn't been easy, but oh, I'm sure glad the two of you stuck with me. The shard counter looked at his feet, feeling intense remorse for nearly abandoning his comrade. Hey, you were gonna come with me. Should be south of here. machine in there. It's some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? Well, this is where more of said that would be. I must have moved on. Let's pick up my trail. Better look for tracks.
there. Tracks should lead me to the heart. in the other direction. Sandstorm's blowing in. Just what there's the herd. I should have the parts I need. More machines? Okay, got them all. Now where did the herd go? Oh, the storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great. One synthetic membrane. Okay, 
That takes care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Moreland's diving bubble. Got the compressed air capsule. I thought we were finally going to get away from this, this thing now. Well, what can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need. I think. I won't work benches. We'll find a way to get the umbrellas. Pessimism. May save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war of words. So what? It's something that caught. I think it's like we. That's like images. It's tiny. At first, and then there was wait. Uh, oh, was... Okay, time to see if this thing works. Parched desert air made the old wordsmith long for a draft of mainspring ale. For once, I agree with you.
I wonder what it's like down there, huh? A city encased in water. Wow. Encased. <laughs> More like entombed. Every once in the great while, the shard counter stumbled on to a genuinely poetic expression. What could have caused a flood like that? It was as if the buried ruins had a spirit of their own. One that would brook no trespassers. Probably get a, at least three dozen. Are you budgeting? I then you. I'm always willing. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. Let's see. Thirty-one plus four. What are you counting over there? That's Thirteen. Expenses. I thought it was the number of years since anyone smiled at you. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before.
what Poseidon's doing. That must be the red light that Lauren saw when the water rushed in. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. Machines down here. I want to swim around them. Stick to cover. <laughs> There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. <laughs> I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe something I can climb to get out. some of the sweat. There. 
One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Should be on the other side of the door. Another access point. Should get me to the second node. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. should be at the south end of the ground.
should have lightened that tower. Just look at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But how to get in? It looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. get rid of all of the water. Left these machines behind. Could see if anything.
Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. If the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay, then. Stay up here, and start firing when I engage.
Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. Everyone okay? Little fracas never hurt anyone. And so the great adventurers rose triumphant, their foe bereft of strength. Whatever we planned on charging for this show of ours, it just doubled. You guys all right? So we should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Poseidon trigger to restart of the city's power system. Huh? World and crew must have headed back up top. With all the windows they could carry, I guess. An elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Might still work. Be nice not to have to climb back up.
Whatever she did, she must. <laughs> if Moreland and crew is gonna stay, I guess. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Yeah, that hurts. Ha. Huh. The door is unlocked now. I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Hey, I just, uh, wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. And look, about earlier... Forget it. Was there anything else? So...
So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well... Keep at it, I guess. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. I'll be going. Okay. Bye. Unlock now. Gaia, we can't expect what was this room it. for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. Come, trade. I ran into an Osterhout caravan set up around a watering hole a little way south of our base. They're calling the place Camp Nowhere. Heard they had some trouble crossing into the west. Something about a, a collapsed tunnel. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. I thought that'd get your attention. Good luck out there.
heard they'd set up outposts in the area. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. Coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. Someone managed to take out. I need to get past these hostels and into the Number ruins. One.
Who are these people? And why are they out for blood? I better get to Demeter fast in case there's more of them. According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. Looks like some sort of old office complex. A metal flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. Unless I can cut through them. I'm gonna need to find another way in. With no way out. <sighs> Great. At least there's a console. A log. Just got off the line with US Robot Command. Whoever they are, they want me dead. I better be careful. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't look right. What's going on?
wish these people could talk to me instead of trying to kill me. Oh no, I need to find a way out of this courtyard. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? Oh, this place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit for the room. Just stay close. Me. the way. Be a way out of here. What's that thing in the wall? 
here. A dead end. Maybe we should try another path. We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. According to the map, the exit should be this way. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. 